In tonight's Broadway and Beyond, a classic is returning to the stage, Fiddler on the Roof in Yiddish. Sold out shows in 2018 and was just about to go on tour around the world in 2020 before the pandemic. And performers tell CBS 2's Lisa Rosner they have a new sense of responsibility because the story is more relevant now than ever before. Tradition. Rehearsals are underway for the National Yiddish Theater Folkspina's beloved off-Broadway production of Fiddler on the Roof. The production, directed by Academy Award and Tony winner Joel Gray, is back November 13th for seven weeks at New World Stages. I came and sat there, uh -huh. and they did the number for me, and I cried. What is it about it that brings you to tears? Well, it's always been about belonging or not belonging. And the world situation with the Ukraine. Gray says he recently learned many of his relatives were from Ukraine. The musical takes place in fictional Anatevka, representing a small town near the original writer Shalom Alechem's birthplace in central Ukraine. It centers on Tevye, the milkman, and the role is being reprised by Stephen Skybell. Tevye navigates faith and family amidst a lurking danger represented by Russian soldiers who attempt to exile the Jews in the quiet community. That this story takes place in that landscape, it has meaning and relevance. My character's from Kiev. It's just an immense responsibility. The performance is fully in Yiddish, but there are subtitles on set to follow along. It's like you're a fly on the wall and like you're really seeing this culture. It makes it very uh, accessible. There are 25 actors in the show and 21 of them were in the previous production. It's a story of America. It tells the story of how, with few exceptions, um, all of us uh, came from somewhere else. Zach Golden, deputy Yiddish editor of The Forward, says the language is spoken by few, but interest in it is growing among Jews and non-Jews. Yiddish influencers and things like Yiddish Fiddler on the Roof have brought new audiences, both Jewish, non-Jewish, just anybody who's interested in, in something new. This couple on stage fell in love in real life during the production's first run. Now they are husband and wife, applying the family values the show touches on into their world. I feel really honored to be welcomed into this mishpacha, and uh, it's a blessing. Fiddler auf dem Dach. In Midtown, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And to hear more from the cast and how even mainstream movies like Harry Potter are being translated into Yiddish, you can watch our Broadway and Beyond segment Sunday at 8.45 in the morning.